A regular St. John's County Commission meeting turned into a bit of theater this week involving even a measuring tape. This was all sparked by the discussion of a large neighborhood and should yet another neighborhood get the nod from commissioners. Lots of back and forth. Here's what happened. Then the second portion of the project is called the landings at St. John's. Tuesday's St. John's County Commission meeting was not your typical meeting. The topic that drew some drama was something called the landings at Greenbrier and St. John's. It's a very large proposed neighborhood that would create more than 1,300 houses on 963 acres of land off of Greenbrier Road. That's in northwest St. John's County. Wait, 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 Commissioner Krista Keating Joseph started her questions by whipping out a measuring tape. So. This is between each of the homes, five feet. Joseph ran on an anti-development stance last fall, and it played but out in this meeting. And then came time for public comment, and Commissioner Joseph had been tipped off that many people from Pulte Homes, the project's developer, would speak glowingly about the project. Indeed, to they support did. this project. So after their praise for the project, she asked them who they worked for. Ma'am, do you work for Pulte? No, ma'am, I do not. I have here that you are a geospatial consultant. Yes, ma'am. I have your name also. Have you worked for one of these developers that are in this area? I've worked for every developer in this area. Thank you. Sir, do you work for Pulte? Yes, ma'am, I do work for Pulte. However, I am here on myself and representing my own household. The commission chairman was not happy. I think we can stipulate that you suspect every person who speaks in favor of the project. No, I actually did not ask that Michael guy, because he's not on my list. She's on my list. She works for Pulte. It's just getting. I do, and I have for the past. Thank you. It, and it's much, Absolutely. it's much clearer when you say it up front. St. John's County is in a push and pull period right now with neighborhoods and shopping centers under construction all over the county, and some residents really pushing back against development in the last couple of years. We don't need to cram every last house that we can get in there, no matter how it impacts our schools and our roads. First Coast know. News has obtained county information that shows there are more than 58,000 homes homes that have been approved but not yet built in St. John's County. Mind this is public comment and I want people to speak their mind without fear of being condemned by the board. Well how about if all of them say where they live and if they work for anyone that has to do with this project? Yeah again I'm not sure that that's that's entirely appropriate. Well, still let's, let's Joseph continue. asked the question in the end the St. John's County Commission approved the large neighborhood four to one. So four to one was the vote on the project. Krista Keating Joseph, the one who was asking many of those questions, was the only commissioner to vote against the project.